give you thanks, Lord. We thank you, Father. We can't say it enough, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. We thank you for this time. We thank you for this season. Every day we should give you thanks, Lord. But we, we take this time, Father, of thanksgiving and we give you thanks, Father. Thank you for the breath of life. Thank you for keeping us through the day and keeping us through the night as well, Father. Hallelujah. Waking us, waking us up this morning, Lord. Our children, our families, Lord God. We thank you for this church and ministry. Lord's team ministry, Word of Truth Church, Father. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We give you a thank offering, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. We worship you. We praise you. Lifting up this time and this service, Lord God. We bless you, Lord God. Lifting up our leaders, Apostle Rocky, Lord. Pastor Bobby, while she's still in recovery and strengthening and healing right now in the name of Jesus. We lift up anyone else, Father, out there needing healing right now, watching, streaming with us and participating in your word and in your presence, Father, here with us. We thank you, Lord, for each and every family represented here. We thank you, Father, for the associate pastors, their families, worship pastor and his family, Lord God. Thank you for our missionary, Lord God. We thank you for every word that is spoken tonight, Lord God. We lift it up to you, lifting up the speaker tonight. We thank you and we praise you for the word coming forth, Lord God. Holy Spirit, have your way in this place. Have your way through the live streaming. Touch each and every individual watching right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you. We praise you. We give you all the praise, all the honor, and all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray and say amen and amen. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. amen and amen. Hallelujah. 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 I got a feeling. Oh, yeah. Everything's going to be all right. I got a feeling everything's going to be all right. I got a feeling everything's going to be all right. Be all right. Be all right. Be all right. Woo! Anybody got a little Pentecostal jig in them? <laughs> Feel free to stand up and jig away. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Jig away. I think that used to be a medicine that I had when I was in the army. They called it chig away because the chiggers in the uh, in the woods of North Carolina and of Georgia. Hey, hello. Praise the Lord. Thank you. The chiggers in North Carolina and uh, Georgia, they would come and get you if you didn't have your chig away. Chig away. Get rid of the chiggers. Well, praise the Lord, everybody. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It is good to see you all in the house of the Lord. It is good to be seen, Pastor. Oh, well, praise the Lord. We are all here ready to rock and roll, ready to praise Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much, everybody. Appreciate you. Wow. Wow. I just love church family. There's no family like church family. Look at this. Everybody giving loves. Everybody coming together for one purpose under the sun. To praise the name of the Lord. It is right to give him thanks and praise. In fact, it is right to give him thanks and praise is, is a term or is a prayer from my old Catholic background. That's what they used to say in the Catholic Eucharistic prayer. And in the Catholic Eucharistic prayer, they would say, it is right to give him thanks and praise. Praise the Lord. I think before I didn't get it like I get it now. Amen, everybody? Amen. Look at your neighbor. Find a neighbor if you don't have one, but look at your neighbor and say, don't get left. Don't get left. Look at your other neighbor and say, don't get, don't get left. Then look at yourself and say, get right. Get right. One more time, get right. get right. Because it's right to give him thanks and praise. Amen, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. 
I got a special news flash for everybody. And you guys really need to pick up this special news flash. It is important. And the special news flash is this. There is 31 more days until Christ Mass. 31, day, 31 more days until Christ Mass. Now, this is really important, especially since you, especially if you're me, because this 31 days before Christ Mass tells me I have at least 30 days to get my act together and go shopping and not have another uh, heart attack boots incident. Uh -oh. no. We are not going to have a heart attack a boots condition. incident yeah. this year because everybody knows what happened in 2016 when I waited till Christmas Eve to go buy those heart attack boots. I ended up having a heart attack. Yeah, thank you, Jesus. So I got some time to get ready, and I'm feeling pretty good about my get ready time. In fact, I, I want to testify. I want to testify that God is good all the time. No more heart attacks. God is good all the time. For his unmerited favor, we want to stand up and say that God is good. Woo! God is good. No heart attack, 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 no heart attack. No diabetes, no diabetes, no diabetes, no diabetes, no diabetes. No lung, no cancer, no cancer, no cancer, no cancer, no cancer. Just bust out that healing gun. Bust out that rhema speaking gun and just start speaking life into everybody. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Apostle Rocky and Pastor Bobby for allowing me the opportunity to bring the word here tonight. It is a blessing. It's an honor. It is a privilege to bring this very special pre-Thanksgiving word. But before I, I rock into that, I just want to say thank you for everybody for your seed. And there's a special way that Jewish people say thank you. And there are four different ways and four different blessings that they say thank you to others with. And I say thank you. Praise the Lord. That's so beautiful. Thank you, girl. And here's the four ways that they say thank you. When, when they want to express their appreciation, they say, God bless you. Or they say, may God bless the desires, or may God give you the desires of your heart. That's number two. May God give you success in all that you do. And here's number four. And number four really bless my socks off. They say, May God give you health, wealth, and notches from your children. Yeah. Health, wealth, and notches from your children. Not nachos. Okay, brother? I think somebody, somebody over here thinking nacho libre. It's <laughs> notches. Notches. And what notches means is a glowing feeling of satisfaction and joy. Wow. So I seed all those prayers that the Jewish people use to say thank you into each and every one of you tonight. And that's like a quad, man, that's like a quad, you know, dual 48 Weber or whatever fast Volkswagen you get. That's like a quad power of blessing. So I hope you would all receive that. Um, thank you, Jesus. You know, uh, something happened to me today. I was out doing my rounds, and I was on a construction site, Kia High School specifically, and I was doing my thing out over there at Kia High School, and I'm leaving one of the new uh, buildings because our, our masons were doing this wall, and they were doing some grout and stuff, and I'm leaving this building. I'm headed back to my truck to go to my next destination, and as I'm heading out of this building, this guy is chasing me down. He's like, hey. I'm like, hey, brother. I'm like, hey, what? what? He's like, hey. I'm like, hey, how's it, bro? How are you? He's like, bro, do you... um." do you pray over there with your crew? And I'm like, well, yeah, yeah, we pray, we pray. He says, well, d did you guys pray back in um, January or, or February, you know, back, back sometime? Did you, did you guys have a speaker, uh, like, a, like a PA system? I said, yeah, yeah, we prayed, because what my company usually does is we do a, a, an all-hands-on-deck meeting to kick off the new year and, like, to just 
launch into the new year. We encourage each other. We give away some shirts. We talk story. We look at where we've been, where we're going, and, and it always starts off with prayer. Amen. And, and, I, and I think Brother Joseph had a chance to pray for, for one of those meetings one time, I think. Yeah, because I always try to get somebody else to pray other than myself just because you want to build other people up yeah. and give them an opportunity to share the word. Plus, kind of some guys got to come out of the closet because some guys are a little bit rough, you know, and they stand up there and pray, and all the rough goes, you know. Amen. To, so anyway, this guy says, did you guys have a speaker and, and, and a PA system back? I said, yeah, we did. We did. That was us. He's like, you know, bro, I was over here in this building working, but we could hear that prayer over here. And I heard it, and me and so we heard that prayer. And, and it was like when you was praying, it's like you, talk, you was talking to God like you and I talking right now. You guys, like you were talking to God like just normal. And, and I was feeling that prayer, and I was getting I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, well, thank you, thank you, thank you for sharing, I appreciate that, and this is, and he's like, hey, bro, right on, my name Ricky, bro, okay, right on, bro, my name Al, right on, awesome, happy Thanksgiving, and it, and it was just, I'm thinking, all right, Lord, how would this guy, who doesn't even know me, uh -huh. 10, 11 months after the fact, <laughs> come chase me down, hey, hey, and, and say, we heard that prayer over here in the building and we could really feel it and it was like you and I are talking right now. I'm sharing that with you to say you never know who is listening. You never know who is... Because it, it's not you, it's the Word of God, it's God's Word filling the atmosphere, Amen. doing what God does. Hallelujah. And I had no... You know, we do, we, you know, stick and move, move. But 10, 11 months after the fact, I heard that prayer. And it was like, you and I are talking. And I'm like, man, I, I just went in my truck and cried because it's like, wow, Lord, you're, you're awesome. You are incredible. And look at, and, and this guy is all dirty, all construction out. But you can see the shine of the Holy Spirit on his face that God touched him. To, to do that and it was such an awesome thing so I just want to share that with you as a heads up when you're out there praying before you eat your meals because yeah. if, if you if you go to if you go to lunch in fact we just had a brother from the mainland come from Washington if you go to lunch in Maui we went to Maui Brewing for lunch okay we never drink right <laughs> it was a it was a it was a business lunch okay hey if you go into lunch with with brother Al you're gonna hey. you're gonna pray and, and whoever and whoever gets the ricochets, ching chow, ching chow, poo, you know, you get hit in the butt with a prayer, you get hit in the butt with a prayer. You know, pray, 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 prayerfully it hits your heart, Amen. and God does a work. Amen, everybody? Amen. Well, I'm so excited for tonight because, well, I so got this word. All right. God has been shaping me and molding me and speaking to me and just forming and birthing this word in me and I was so excited about delivering this word because I want to be ready in and out of season so I'm ready in and out of season ready in and out of season ready in and out of season and Apostle Rocky gives me a call on Monday night hey an apostle is pumped okay apostles always pumped but he's really pumped on Monday night hey Pastor Al praise the Lord you know we got Thanksgiving coming up and you want to give me the you know, uh, Thanksgiving message on you know Thanksgiving and uh, Thanksgiving Okay, Thanksgiving message. All right, Lord, Thanksgiving message. Okay. Well, wait, wait a minute, Lord. Uh, you know, the, the word that you gave me is, is, is kind of not a Thanksgiving message. So like any good, red-blooded American Airborne Ranger does, you try to talk God out of it. Right? <laughs> Lord, I got this great word, and, and, and you gave it to me, and you think I could just take the Thanksgiving message and... and and, and turn it into the this word that you because you gave it to me you know lord you get so i'm wrestling with god trying to convince god i'm trying to convince god that he really wants this other word preached tonight and he doesn't want the thanks so i am just being a baboose and you know sometimes you just gotta shondo claw yourself and the lord says thanksgiving message i'm like all right lord thanksgiving are you sure lord but please 
please, pretty please. No, Pastor Al, thanksgiving message. Yes, Lord, you the boss, not me. So tonight, for tonight's thanksgiving word, which is definitely a word from the Lord, uh, if you need a title, the title is Thankful Heart. There you go, Thankful Heart. And the uh, foundation scripture for tonight is found in Psalm chapter 9, verse 1, in the New English Translation, or the NET. So, Thankful Heart is tonight's word, and Psalm chapter 9, verse 1, is where we're going to go. So when you're ready, just stand on up, and we will read together. I can tell you that this, this um, Psalm chapter 9, the, the title on the heading of Psalm chapter 9 in my Bible, it, it says, God's justice. God's justice. And God's justice starts with this that we're about to read. Psalm chapter 9, verse 1. And, what, and we're going to read it together on three. Ready? One, two, three, go. I will thank the Lord with all my heart and tell about your amazing deeds. Amen. Father, we thank you for your word. We will thank you with all our hearts, and we will tell about all of your amazing deeds. Amen? Amen. Please be seated. So, let's, can we go back to that scripture, uh, Sister Kimberlyn? Thank you. I will thank the Lord with some of my heart. No. I will thank the Lord with a part of my heart. I will thank the Lord with 75% of my heart. I will thank the Lord with all my heart. All. Everything. So that's like no holding back. You got to give it all up. You got to give all your heart to Jesus and thank him with all your heart. That is a thankful heart when you thankful, thank him with all your heart. And then to encourage you and help to remind you of why you are thankful, you tell about some of his amazing deeds, a part of his amazing deeds, a little section of his amazing deeds. You tell all of his amazing deeds. That's the word of God. And that whole... Um, psalm there psalm 9 goes on to speak about god's justice because god is a just god and the world that we live in is not a just world i mean from the looters in san francisco and new york just you know just flash mobbing and stealing from what's going on with the defund the police and, and people just getting beat up without being held accountable and people getting loose from jail and going out and doing mean, evil, horrific things from the whole thing with, that's going on with COVID and with masks, no masks, right is wrong, wrong is right. The, the world is just not just. But we can be thankful because God is just. He is always just. And we should be very thankful for that. Amen. I am thankful that while the world is not just, and sometimes the medical profession is not just, Amen. that God takes care of me, he takes care of you, Amen. he's got you covered. Amen. For the past three days, I've been having this feeling in my tooth. When I bite down and apply pressure on my tooth, there's some pain there. So... You know, lay hands on myself. Okay, still there. Day two, lay hands on myself. Okay, it's still there. Well, day three, you know, maybe I should get on get on the boat or get on the helicopter. God sent the helicopter. God sent a boat. God, you know, God sent a surfboard. Maybe I should get on. Well, God gave me a dental plan. You know, maybe I should get on the dental plan. Okay, Lord, you know, I gotta, you know, faith without work. I gotta do some works with my faith. So I figure, okay, I call my dentist. Call my dentist up and let them know what's going on. They ask me a bunch of questions. And then there was that last question. That, uh, that last question just, uh, 
That last question, the, the dentist says, are you vaccinated? I says, no, I am not vaccinated. Well, uh, then we can't help you. I'm like, wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait, wait. Ex excuse me. Excuse me. Well, you know, um, you know, we're very concerned with this, this, and that. And they just start hemming. You mean you can't assist me? I'm before this thing gets worse because I'm I'm not. Va and I said I I have a negative test because I get I I test all the time. I think I test more than anybody I know to tell you. I even have test kits in my car. You know, just in case somebody wants to see that I that I don't have, I got, and I said I'll do the test right in front of you, and and you could see that it's okay, and I and I I don't have COVID. I haven't had COVID for two years already, you know. Oh no, very sorry. We can't, you can't help. Now is that just? No. no, that is not just. That is not right, and I just wanted to shando claw, the dentist. Yeah, it was not, it, it was not, and praise God that things, you know, I still have a little feeling there, but uh, I'm doing good, and God is good, and he's going to hold me through this, and, and God's going to figure it out, and he is going to help me, and he's going to help you as you go through your life, and you run into those unjust situations, you should be thankful, we all should be thankful, because we got a just God. Great, big, J-E-S-U-S, -S, just God. Hallelujah. Hey, uh, let me just give you, uh, well, I, I, I'm having these Catholic flashbacks, you know. When you, when you grow up at St. Anthony's School, Kailua, you know, and the nun with the ruler and, you know, and the, the, the head habit thing or whatever, you know, and plus you watch Flying Nun on TV. I don't know. I'm really dating myself. No, nobody here except the very older people know about the flying nun. Okay? So when you grow up and you're trained in the Catholic area, you know, you got to appreciate that. And, and in the Catholic religion, we would, we would sing a song that says, Give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks for He has given Jesus Christ. His St. Anthony's or St. John? St. Patrick. Ah, St. Patricio. Praise the Lord. St. Pat. That's the, that's the one if you know where green, they pinch you, huh? Is that a Catholic thing? Or is that like an Irish thing? Well, St. Patrick. So I'm getting my Catholic flashbacks, but there is one uh, Catholic flashback that I'm getting from uh, Middle Europe in the Middle in the Middle Ages, back when they had the bubonic plague or the black plague. There was this guy by the name of Pope Gregory the First, okay, and this came from his time as the as the Catholic boss, and what he taught and what was believed at the time was that if you said "achoo," the people would say "achoo," thank you. So it was believed that if you didn't say God bless you because of this bubonic plague, you would die. The people believe. Yeah, talk about fake news. Holy hatarashi. Talk about fake news. If you didn't, if somebody sneezed, and that's, you wonder why we say God bless you today. Hey, why we say God bless you when you have uh, phlegm and mucus and uh, bodily fluids coming out of somebody's mouth, you know, or, or their nose? Why do you say that? We say that today because back in the Middle Ages, if you didn't say that, they believed that you were going to die. So we, the, people would sneeze, they say, God bless you, and you say, thank you. And we are thankful for people that give us a blessing. God bless you. Thank you. Amen. Saying thank you is important. Saying thank you to God is very important. In fact, we're going to dig into that and, and, and look at that tonight. In fact, I would venture to say that being thankful and saying thank you saves lives. It blesses you and it brings you closer to God. Saying thank you saves lives. It blesses you and brings you closer to God. In fact, the Hebrew word for appreciation 
comes from the root word in the Hebrew that means value. Appreciation is connected to value. Is, are, are, are we catching this? And the, the, word, the Hebrew word for appreciation that comes from the root word value is aharach. Aharach. You could tell I was in Iraq for a little while. Aharach. Because that's how the, the Arabs, they say, and even the, the Israeli guys that I served with got a lot of that. <laughs> oh, brother. You know what you say? <laughs> so, arach <laughs> means appreciation in the Hebrew. So, if, if something is valuable, if, if, if something like Jesus, God's word, our, the house of God, God's house, our spouses, our friends, what has or what is valuable in our lives is represented by aharach, appreciation. It's connected because you're thankful for those valuable things. Amen? It is a crime shame, and it is totally possible, and, and we really need to get this, but it is totally possible for us to go through a whole day, for us to go through a whole week, and I venture even to say, a whole month just blow through the day blow through the month because of whatever's going on priorities in life christmas shopping call this call that text this text that email whatever and not even be thankful at any time during that time Amen. the word tells us that we should be thankful always. always we should always see the value in life and be a harach. we should always have our heads up to look for things to be thankful for. Yes. From the, the sun shining to no traffic to a parking space up front. And even if it's a parking space in the back, thank you, praise the Lord, that I got a parking space. Because right. just imagine if you didn't get a parking space. I think I almost lost my marriage one time over a parking space. <laughs> I think in Kansas City, Missouri, we were fighting over where to park. And of course, I, I mean, uh, Sister Renee won. So uh, we're still married today. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, it, and, and, it, and God saved our marriage, Apostle. Let me tell you. We, it, the, the, streets were, the streets were crowded that day, my friends. And we couldn't find a parking place any, anywhere. And we, had to, and we, were trying to, we were trying to go to the Thomas Tank Engine store. Does anybody relate to Thomas Tank Engine? Anybody, kid, Thomas? And we, you know, trying to, and, you know, the fight got, the beef got so bad about finding a parking space, where to fight, where, you know, finally we did what we we're supposed to do. Lord, please give us, Lord, please tell Sister Renee to be quiet and that I'm right. No. Lord, just give us a park. So lo and behold, almost as soon as we prayed that prayer, right in front of busy downtown Kansas City, Missouri, there was a parking space in front of the Thomas Tank Engine store. I think we were still a little mad or something, but <laughs> praise God and thank you, Jesus, for the parking space. Amen. We still get to be married because of that parking space. <laughs> Woo! Talk about Shondo Claw. Okay, and I'm not talking about myself. I'm talking about give Ren Sister Renee Shondo Claw. No, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. So, we, you know, we can go through the whole, our lives, e even Thanksgiving Day, this holy day, I mean, this holiday, this holy day of thanksgiving can turn into football day can turn into party day can turn into fishing day can, can, it can turn into everything else but what it is meant for thanksgiving day what the heck so it turns into wayne's world wayne's world party time excellent wayne's world Wayne's world. <laughs> is anybody getting a flashback on that one wayne's world party time excellent Shundle Claw Reigns World. Eh. Or as Sister Renee would say, she would say, Shh. That is the flat tire sound. You don't want the flat tire sound. Because the flat tire sound means that, you know, you're about to get a divorce or get Shundle Claw. So anything you can do to avoid the flat tire sound. No Wayne's World. Shh. Shundle Claw. So ungratefulness and unthankfulness 
that unappreciative attitude is S-I-N sin. It's no doubt. If you are not thankful, appreciative, and grateful, that's a sin. Why is it a sin? Because it separates you. Sin is anything that distances you, that separates you from God. And to have an ungrateful heart that doesn't recognize value, that doesn't appreciate, you think God wants to get close to that? He wants to so get close to the appreciative heart, but he is repelled by that ungrateful, unappreciative, unthankful attitude. So heads up, church. And really, don't wait until you're on your back heart attack to start being thankful and having a good attitude. That, it's too late. You know, I mean, God is always giving second chances, but don't wait for a heart attack on your back. And speaking of gratitude, the Hebrew word for gratitude is ha karat hatov. Ha karat hatov. This is the Hebrew word for gratitude, and it means to recognize the good. To recognize the good. To see the good is to be grateful because you see how, like, this is like the awesomest church. And, I, and if you don't see it like that, and you don't see how good it is, you just, just get some spiritual glasses. I mean, I, I love the air condition. Thank you, Jesus. It's, it's comfortable. It's, you know, you don't need to wear a double coat, uh, underarm deodorant, right? right? We're not sweating beads like I was in going to church in America in Samoa, just sweating beads, man. And you, you sweat beads with large people, you know. <laughs> so those beads are like Christmas balls, you know. They're like the last big sweat, man, in America. So big people, big sweat. And this church, I, I see how awesome it is, with how it's stadium seating, right? Yeah. So you're not sitting in the back of somebody's head where you cannot see nothing. You get the nice stadium seating. Yeah. And, and, and the yeah. chairs, man, God blessed us with these awesome chairs that are soft. You know, they're comfortable. They're, they're, not, they're not hard chairs. And, and just the platform and the wood and the sound system and the lights and, and the parking. We don't fight for parking. There is so much good. I mean, really. Really. Brother, you go to you go New Hope, Honolulu, you're going to get, you know, you fight for that parking spot. Because I go in church, brother. I go in church. My spot. My spot. <laughs> That's why I got to have ushers and security in the parking lot. Hey, uh, uh, excuse me, brother. You know, you can park here. You, you got to keep order, right? Yeah. Yes. I, I mean, the parking is a little rough, you know, and God's done some great things with New Hope and how he's, you know, taking care of the parking over there. Yep. But hey, over here, you see and you have gratitude yes. for the blessings. Amen. This is a blessing. Amen. And then, and then... God shuts down a bank and says, hey, let's have this awesome children's church right next door. Sticks an awesome air conditioning in that. Brand new, I mean, just got the best general contractor you can ever get. I mean, you got to see it. If you don't see it, then you can't appreciate it. But you can't see it unless you open your eyes. Don't be blind to the blessings of God. Go to your house and open your eyes to the blessings of God at your house. And you can be thankful and grateful and appreciative. And the list goes on and on till the break of dawn from, from what the Lord has got with the men's ministry to the hula ministry to the ladies' ministry to the big brother, little sister. I mean, all, he get all kind of wonderful, awesome things to help us to build us up and to make us better. And I, I just so appreciate God. I recognize it and see it, and so should you also. Let's go to Psalm 106, verse 1. Psalm chapter 106, verse 1. 106, verse 1, it is written, Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His mercy endures forever. And then, just like our first scripture, the word goes on to tell of his deeds. Who can utter the mighty acts of the Lord? Who can declare all his praise? 
Blessed are those who keep justice. Didn't we just talk about justice? And he who does righteousness at all times. Remember me, O Lord, with the favor you have toward your people. Wow. Psalm 106 from verse 1 all the way down to verse 4 over there. That is so cool. We need to recognize God and see him, see his, and declare his mighty deeds and his acts and all he is and all he's done. You know, I, I, I've seen people and God use people to pour out his blessings on others. And those others, at the other end of those blessings, people pour out, pour out, pour out, pour out. You don't see a blip of acknowledgement or a blip of thanks or, or a blip of appreciation because they don't see it. They're blind to what God keeps on filling them up with. In fact, you know, just the other day, it so blessed my socks off. Um, I, got a, I got a text from a brother who uh, has no income, has no or very little money, has no job, but this, this, this brother sends me a photograph of painting supplies and equipment, and underneath this picture of the painting supplies and equipment, it says, for the house of God. Now, wait a minute, time out. No job, no or little money, yet blessing the house of God. That right there, ladies and gentlemen, is an example of a thankful heart. That's an example of a thankful heart because, and, and this brother, without hesitation, without second thought, because of a thankful heart, is happy, joyful, grateful to be a blessing to the house of the Lord because of a thankful heart. Made me check myself and where my heart was for God's house and even though this, this man is going through a rough time right now he remembers and he sees what God has done in his life look what the Lord has done he's healed my body he's healed my soul he's healed a body over there he's healed bodies out there he's he saved you just in time yeah. we gotta praise his name amen yeah. amen amen and then I, I, I've also seen parents out there who just pour and seed into the lives of their children and just give, give, give to the children again without a blip of thanks or appreciation. I mean, what the heck, children? What the heck, youngins? And, and this is not to bust on them, but is, this is to help people, parents, and this is to help children see and recognize the goodness of God. And be thankful and appreciative for that goodness. I mean, I, I, could that attitude be Satan? Could it be? Could it be? I, I don't do a very good church lady anymore because I haven't seen it in a while. But I will work on my church lady maybe for the next Simha. Or so. Could it be Satan? Or could, or could it be the entitled demoniacs? Shandoklaw on the entitled demoniacs. People who are not thankful do not hakarat hatov. They don't recognize the good, and because they don't recognize the good, they end up being the losers. They end up missing out because they do not see the good, because they are blinded by schedules, by checklists, by calendars, by responsibilities, by overcommitments, by choices, by bouncing from things to things with eyes wide closed eyes wide closed missing out on the blessings of God and this whole what God is trying to get to you tonight about thankfulness is kind of like two other principles that the Lord teaches like forgiveness you know when you forgive somebody it's not about releasing that somebody and it's not about saying that person could go now and I don't hold anything against you. It's about you. Amen. If you don't give forgiveness, you're held captive. Right. You hold yourself captive and your heart is just tied up in knots because you're not forgiving. 
it's this thankfulness principle is just like honor if you don't give honor and if you don't give respect you're not going to get it you will never be honored and you will never be respected unless you learn how to give honor and how to give respect so the same thing with thankfulness. It's a gift to you. It is for you. You, you, you. Yes, we are saying thank you, Lord. But that thanks multiplies and comes back to us time and time again. So saying thank you, Lord, is not a, it, it's not all thank you, Lord. It's pow, pow. Thank you, Lord, coming right back to you. Because the Lord wants to be close to that. And in fact, there was this, um, I was out on a job site uh, on um, Haleakala Highway, and we were doing a paving job, and um, it, was, it was at night, and up there with the paving crew, and I tell you, oh, you think construction is hard. Those paving brothers, I mean, with the hot asphalt and the dust, and uh, I mean, paving is hard. Yeah, I, I, the, the two hardest things I see out there in construction is masonry and paving. Uh, you know, and, and the guys were telling me, hey, hey, Al, you ever pick up one of those bricks? And I said, yeah, I have, because I want to feel what they feel, and I want to go through what they, so I, I pick up the bricks, and I get the feel, and I'm like, oh, man, these guys pick up bricks all day. I picked up bricks for five, ten minutes, and I was done. <laughs> you know, I mean, I don't know why these guys are not the Incredible Hulk, but anyway, I'm on Haleakala Highway. Reel it back in, brother. Reel it back in. Reel it back in. I'm on Haleakala Highway, and this one brother comes up to me, and he says, L, L, oh, what's up, bro? He's like, here, appreciation. I'm like, huh? He's like, appreciation. I just want to give this to you to say thanks. Really appreciate you, man. And he gives me a coveted bottle of his auntie's super secret chili pepper water. <laughs> And I don't know if this is Auntie Maria Lani or what Auntie this is, <laughs> but it's like, Al, everybody wants my Auntie's chili pepper water. And I'm not a chili pepper water kind of guy, but this guy's giving me, giving me chili pepper water in the middle of the night on Haleakala Highway to say thank you. Aww. Because you know, Al, the, the auto safety guy, we didn't even know who he was. We never see him, but you're out here with us all the time. You know, you, you, you hang with us. You back us all up. Oh, bro. Right on, man. Thank, thank you very much. I appreciate that. So what this guy did is what we should be doing with the Lord because there is such a thing in the Word of God called a thank offering, and I could run down the scriptures in Leviticus. So when you give a thank offering, and when I got this thing, I'm thinking about this guy now. This guy's on my heart now. And this crew of 15 guys out there doing whatever they're doing I remember this guy and I remember this guy because he was thankful I remember this guy because he recognized not what I did and he didn't do it for favor and he didn't do it because he wanted to get blessed he just did it because he was thankful because he he saw something that was valuable my presence expertise as a safety manager whatever he saw something was valuable and he said thank you so the next time I go out to this job site, even though all those other guys are there, I really remember this guy. And my prayers and my heart is for this guy. And I also see there's something special about this guy. There's something different about him. He has a thankful heart. He has an appreciative heart. So you think if I get, if, if I get the opportunity, I'm looking for opportunities to bless this guy. It's like, Lord, come on, give me something so I can hook this brother up. Thankful heart. Just like the brother with the paint supplies, thankful heart. And I can tell you, I don't think I'm there yet. You know, as I look in the mirror and I check myself before I wreck myself, I want a thankful heart. And I, I want to recognize and see the value of God, and I want to recognize and, 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 and value and see the wonderful things around me and, and my, my wonderful wife and my pastors, my church family and my children and, and all the blessings that God has just shoved into my life. And these two men with the chili pepper water and the, the paint supplies, 
And, and even the guy who came up to me, the guy Ricky, who came up to me today in the, in the construction site, and said, hey, thanks for that prayer, you know. We, we heard it and we felt it. These are men with, with thankful hearts. And uh, it's something I definitely need to work on. It's something that we all can work on. Amen? Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. One of the commands God, God gives us in Genesis uh, one twenty eight says to be fruitful and multiply. Yep. Be fruitful and multiply. And I can tell you that if you don't exercise gratitude and appreciation with your fruit, the fruit rots. Amen. The fruit rots. Yep. And rotting is a process where the fruit eats itself. Instead of drawing on the sun and on water and on roots and other things around it to grow and get bigger, the fruit starts eating what it has and it starts to decay because it's eating itself. And it's eating itself because the lack of thanks and gratitude. When you are thankful, like the pilgrims all those years ago, were thankful for what they're given the fruit multiplies. The fruit multiplies. And I can prove it to you as a biblical principle in Luke 17, 11 through 19. Luke 17, 11 through 19, it talks about the 10 lepers. Yep. And Jesus healed the 10 lepers. We all know that story, right? Yeah. But only one came back and said, thank you. And only that one, only that one got the blessing of being made whole. So his fruit of being healed multiplied. The other fruit, the Bible doesn't tell us about that, but I would venture to say, since they did not recognize it, see the value, I would venture to say that maybe it didn't multiply. And maybe it got rotten. But I ain't taking a chance. Thank you, Lord. Appreciate that healing. Thank you so much for healing me. He's healed my body. He's healed my mind. He saved me just in time. I'm going to praise his name. Let me very quickly go over six different types of thank yous. Six different types of biblical thank yous. Let me caution you with these first two. The first thank you is the justified thank you. The justified thank you. In Luke chapter 10, verse 11, it says, the Pharisee says, I thank you that I'm not like that guy. I thank you that I'm not like that guy. Now here's the justified part. I give my tithes. I go to church. I pray. I, I do this. I do that. I, 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 I. The justified thank you. <laughs> Trap door opens, brought us, disappears. The justified thank you. Hey, God was God was born at night, but not last night, all right? Okay? You know, he was born at night, right? Because you got to got the light and the day and the dark. And every day was, you know, right? So not last night, brother. So he get them. He's going to see the justified thank you. So heads up on that one. And besides, Micah 6, 8 tells us, you know, what does the Lord require of us? But to do justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with him. The justified thank you, uh, that, that, that probably don't fly too far. And then there's the auto thank you, you know, the, the, the thank you that just comes out to come out. Hachu, God bless you. Thank you. Hachu, God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. It's a thank you that just says the words thank you without having the thankful heart. Yeah, sure. If you're just flying, thank, or even, here's, here's an even bigger one, number two, marriage ministry. Honey, I love you. All right, or I love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. Hey, love you, love you, love you. I love you is kind of big words. You know, it's kind of like a you, love is kind of like a huge thing, and that, we're not preaching on that tonight. But what I'm saying is words have power. And when we don't realize how much power these, these words have, like thank you and I love you, we disarm them. The impact of those words gets... No more power. But if you look at somebody in the eye and say, thank you. I really appreciate that, man. Thank you. You know, that's a true, honest, thankful heart. 
Thank you. Thank you. Come again. Thank you for shopping. I always tell everybody, thank you for shopping at Al Safety Shop. Please come again. You know, and that's like, that's just kind of my thing. But uh, the, our thank yous and our I love you should have power. Amen, everybody? Yes. There is the fateful thank you. And this is one of my favorite thank yous because I get to hear it almost every uh, Sunday evening at intercessory prayer. And the, thank, the fateful thank you says, I thank you in advance. You haven't given it to me yet. You haven't healed me yet. You haven't blessed me yet. But I still say thank you in advance. I say thank you for my new job. I say thank you for finances that I need. I say thank you for helping me pay this off. I say thank you for deliverance. I say thank you for my healing. And that's one of the thank yous that God loves because that's a faithful thank you. And without faith, it is impossible to please God. So when you slam in a faithful thank you, whoo, that gets God's attention. And, he's, and he's, he looks down and says, well, maybe, you know, this, this boy's stepping out in faith there. This boy's believing for a healing. This boy's believing for a new job. I acknowledge that. I, don't you think God doesn't recognize that and see that? He does. So it's nuclear, man. Bust out those faithful thank yous. The celebratory thank, thank you. We celebrate and say thank you for a baby's first baby luau, first birth. Thank you, Lord. Because in the old days of Hawaii, the babies wouldn't make it. So we have a celebration and we say thank you. For birthdays, you know, 50th birthdays, for anniversaries, weddings, pastor's appreciation. We, that's a celebration, man. We recognize and say thank you for our pastors. So there's that celebratory thank you. There's the unexpected thank you. I like that one. It's the thank you that comes when you don't even see it coming. Like when Nebuchadnezzar saw that Daniel didn't get eaten by the lions. Yeah. What? What? And, and Nebuchadnezzar, he ran down there. No, excuse me, not Nebuchadnezzar, uh, Darius. It was King Darius that Daniel didn't get eaten by the lions. So Darius ran down there and saw that Daniel was still there. So all the guys that threw him in the lion's den, he threw them in the lion's den and their families. Darius was thankful. And even, uh, the, and, the, and, the, yeah, and the last thank you is the even if thank you. And the even if thank you, this one was, is with Nebuchadnezzar, with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, we're not going to worship you, Nebuchadnezzar. And even if our God doesn't save us, we're still not going to worship you even if even if i don't get blessed even if i don't get delivered even if i don't get healed i'm still gonna thank you Ho! Oh, talk about a nuclear bomb thank you in the in the throne room of god our god will hear that and he will honor that and he will do things in your life that that, that you're that you're just gonna get your soft mouth off hallelujah thank you jesus so if you don't get promoted, if you don't get picked, if it doesn't happen, and you still praise Him anyway, God is going to bless your socks off. You know, not getting promoted and not getting picked and maybe not getting healed or not getting that job or not receiving what you've been praying for that's that's not an easy thing it's it's a hard thing but i i can guarantee you that if you have a thankful heart through those things god ain't done you're just going through your process. And he still has great things for you that you have not seen yet. About a month ago, I was on Molokai giving a first aid class. And uh, I got a call from the division president. And the division president says, hey, Al, I got, I got the great news, man. We're, we're, we're really looking at the safety department and we really want to help the safety department out and 
our company's growing and we got some great things going on and I'm starting to get excited because I know there's there's kind of a vacant position as the division safety manager so this guy's talking to me I'm getting a little pumped up I'm like hey this is cool and so he keeps on talking so we're, we're really excited to announce that uh, we promoted so-and-so as the division safety manager I'm like well, well, wait a minute so-and-so is not my name you know my <laughs> the name Alan Ostermill Alan Ostermill we promoted that wasn't the name I heard And I know what God does. I see the miracles that God has done at my place of employment. It's, it's almost impossible to do this. I mean, with God, nothing's impossible, but he's chosen to do those impossible things where I work. And uh, it didn't feel too good to not hear my name. Because I know God, and I see. But God's servant, his, his name wasn't said. So I said, right on, boss, you know, got it, you know, 100%. I'm behind that guy, I support him. Because that's the right thing to say. And people are looking at the Christians to do the right thing and, and people are definitely looking at me to do the right thing, so I'm going to do the right thing. Right on, boss. He's a good man and I will support him 100%. Thanks for letting me know. Still didn't feel good. And I had to go back in there and finish teaching that first aid class, and I didn't want to. I didn't feel like it. So I separated myself from the phone and from that class for a little while and I said something that I didn't want to say something that didn't feel good to say. But I knew I had to say it because I serve the king and it's the right thing to say. And I said, thank you, Jesus. I said, praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Thank, and, and I really wasn't feeling thank you, Jesus. And I really wasn't feeling praise the Lord. But I had to get it. I had to do the right thing. I had to get it out. So it came out. And since then, God has, has put me through this process, and I've uh, I received my processing. But in it, it, part of my processing and, and part of my humbling, and that's what he's doing, he's humbling me, and I, I, I'm down with that. I'll, I'll, I'll take it, and I receive it, and I want it because it's going to grow me, and it's going to make me a better man. In the process of my humbling, I, I, I talk to the director of HR, and I tell him about this uh, situation that happened and he didn't even know what was going on and it kind of blindsided him as well and you know he, he, he agreed and yeah man that's that's not right and i probably i'll, I'll take this to, to the president i'll talk to the president about that but uh in the process this hr director is a believer and he used to attend a big church in in seattle and uh he hands me this book written by this pastor uh, connected to, to Mars Hill Church, which is a, you know, one of those mega churches in the mainland. And this book is on humility. So I got this book that's teaching me that God chose to put in my path that's teaching me about humility. And I thank God for this man of God. I thank God for the man who wrote the book because even though I didn't get what I wanted, what I believe I deserve, what I, 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 God gave me what I needed. And he's not done with me yet. And he's not done with you yet. Even though you don't have what you want in your life right now, even though you have not received your full blessings from, from the Lord, he ain't done. He is not done. But are you going to be thankful? Are you going to have gratitude? Are you going to have that thankful heart that multiplies, that invites God in to bring those blessings into your life? Amen, everybody? Amen. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I didn't think, I don't, I don't have that written down here. Uh, we, is, was that supposed, were we supposed to say that? Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. So, 
Tonight we talked about a, a bunch of things, and I hope God has blessed you all, and I, and I hope the word is, is planted in your heart now from, from those Hebrew blessings on uh, from God bless you to may God give you health, wealth, and notches from your children to Pope Gregory and where the sneeze came from, you know, God bless you so you don't die. From Psalm 9-1, which tells us to give thanks all the time and, and tell of all of his awesome deeds. To the Hebrew word, root word value, aharach, which is connected to gratitude. Or the Hebrew word uh, harakatova, which means to recognize the good. Thankfulness being a gift to yourself. Uh, not being unthankful and having rotten fruit and the six different types of thank you. So praise the Lord for God's word and for what he's brought here tonight. And I'll, and I'll leave you with this, with this final word uh, and, and close with this. And, and I've shared it before, but I would encourage you, if you haven't done it, you know, try it out, man. See, see if it works in your life and see if it works for, for your prayer life. And that's this. When you're in your prayer time, right? When you're in your prayer time, that means all you have a prayer time. If you don't have a prayer time, get a prayer time. If you don't have a moving buddy, get one. You know, that's a little clip from uh, uh, Buzz Lightyear. What is it? Toy Story. Toy Story. Buzz Lightyear to infinity and beyond. So when you're in your prayer time, and you're at the thankful part of your prayer time where you're thanking God for whatever, where you're recognizing and having gratitude, be thankful for those things and think of it as if you didn't say thankful, if you didn't say thank you for, for your wife, if you didn't say thank you for your kids, if you didn't say thank you for your church, if you don't say thank you, just think that it won't be there tomorrow. What? Yeah. If you don't say thank you for your wife, just imagine if she wasn't there. Because if she wasn't there the next day, I sure would be thankful for this day. If your car wasn't there, I thank, I thank the Lord for my truck, man. Thank you, Lord, for my truck. Because my truck is important to me. It's, it's, it's a blessing to me. So I thank him for that because if I didn't have my truck out there to jump in the next day, man, that would sure be a, a pretty hard thing. And I, and, I, and I know a young man who doesn't have his truck there. And, and, it's, and it's a hard thing. You know, so maybe thank you, Lord, for the truck that you're about to bring back and thank you for that truck every day. Thank him as if it won't be there the next day. And then you'll come up with this list of things that you can be thankful for, from your friends to your church family to your job. I'm just thankful for those things. And I thank God for them today as if they weren't going to be there tomorrow. And then when they're there tomorrow, it is such a blessing to you. Amen, everybody? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. We will close right there. Pow, 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 pow. This is my devil, ground and pound. <laughs> ah, bust them up. If you have not received Jesus into your heart as your personal Lord and Savior, that's the most important decision you can make in your life. Jesus is the best thing that will ever happen to you. Jesus wants you, he so wants to be part of your life, he loves you more than you could ever imagine. He loves you more than you can love yourself. He loves you more than your parents. Jesus loves you. And the only way that you can connect with Jesus truly is by receiving him into your heart as your personal Lord and Savior. You see, once you are born, you will have eternal life. You will live forever. The question right now and the question you have to ask yourself is where are you going to spend that eternal life? Are you going to spend it with Jesus or are you going to spend it in the place where there's weeping and gnashing of teeth, where the devil and all his, his 
demons live that's in hell because you're going to live forever but you have a choice of where you're going to spend that eternal life so you can lock that up tonight and be certain that you're going to spend it with jesus and and father god and the, and the angels and all the hosts of heaven the army of heaven if you pray this prayer and receive jesus into your heart really receive him and he, he's going to rock your world i could pretty much guarantee it so if that's you if god is speaking to you right now repeat these this prayer after me say lord jesus forgive me of the sin i have committed i repent i turn from the sin and i turn to you come into my heart forgive me and be the lord of my life and i know that i will never be the same again thank you jesus thank you jesus with a thankful heart thank you jesus in jesus name amen hallelujah if you prayed that prayer on the internet, be sure to give us a call or, or send us an email. We'd love to come alongside you and, and, and help you. If you prayed that prayer in here for the first time in your life, and I don't think this is the first time for anybody, but we've got a wonderful team of spiritual personal trainers to come alongside you and teach you how to work it out for the Lord and we do the spiritual personal training and get it going because you got to exercise those spiritual muscles to stay solid in the Lord. If you don't re exercise their muscles, you become a spiritual wimpy dimpy. And that's not how we rock around here because war in ministry, baby. Fighting them devils. This is how we fight our battles. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you. If you would like to give a seed and plant a seed into this ministry, you can do so by pressing the green button. Am I making my hand in the right place on the internet? and pointing in the right place by pressing a green button that says give and and that's it's 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 really easy to do and you can do that online and we thank you for seeding into this this ground it is good ground and really appreciate that so love you happy thanksgiving joyful thanksgiving god bless you and hallelujah praise the lord